this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Copilot Studio trial. This will be useful in numerous videos going in the future. So I realize I tell you all the time to go sign up for a trial for Copilot Studio, but a lot of people will say, well, I can't because my company won't allow me or things of that nature. So the thing that you want to do to be able to make this work is the first thing is you need to go sign up for a trial of the Microsoft 365 uh, business implementation. So think of it like I need to have a Office 365 implementation in order to do that. So if you go to uh, aka.ms slash Office 365 sign up, what you'll see by going to this is you'll see a whole bunch of different options that are available to you. So when I look at this, I can find all these different ones that we can that we can sign up and try and, and know that these are set so that you can basically come in and have a, a basic implementation of Office 365. Now, needless to say, you need to have it where you choose the one of these that makes sense for you. But what we're going to try it with is let's just do it with the business premium and we'll try a free trial right here. Now, you only need to say that you need a single person for this. You don't need a whole bunch. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign this up. Um, if you want to create a new account, you can come in and say like an email address that you want. So if I do like Dwayne at copilot studio dude.com. I can hit next. And you can see here it's saying I can set up an account. You can change your email. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you want to sign up for. It's helpful if you have a dot com. Uh, but I'm just going to fill this out. And you can see here that it's going to want to give you a call or something like that. So I'm going to blur this out and actually put in my real phone number so that I can just uh, do this. And you can see here, this is where you're actually creating the tenant. So what I would recommend that you do here is you just come up with a username and a password that you're going to be happy with. In my case, I'm going to do copilot studio dude um, here, and then I'm going to generate a password that I'm going to put in. So from here, you will have to go in and put in a payment method and things of that nature. But again, you can choose whichever of these that you want and you can cancel your, tr your trial before it actually charges you. But this is just a way for you to be able to get in and start playing with this. Now, for people who are doing this on their own personal uh, front, just be aware that you definitely want to make sure that you think about how long before, you know, put it like a reminder on your calendar, like 28 days before uh, this is going to expire, just to make sure that you're not getting charged or anything. But we're going to continue on, and I'm going to just go ahead and add a payment method. Now, again, for this, I'm going to take it off screen and fill this information out just so that you can see that you can do that. So now I've configured in my payment method, and you'll see here that it's going through and saving the payment method and all of those things. And now that we've done this, what you're gonna be able to do is come down and hit start trial. And again, I'll be blurring out my payment information. Okay, so now, that we've completed our trial sign up. You'll see here you have your information, 
you can save or print this. So if you want to go and uh, one of the things that I like to do whenever I do this type of thing is I will go in and I will actually just print it to a PDF on my machine so that that way I have uh, my uh, trial information. And you can just save that off. So then we'll go ahead and start using it. And once we want to start using it, we'll need to come in and sign in with our cr proper credentials, which in this case was Dwayne at Copilot Studio Dude.on.com. We'll have to put, put in our password. I believe we've already got our password. Oh. All right. And now that we are signed in, we have all of our new stuff. So we're just going to skip all of this stuff. We can just close it. And we can just say no thanks to this. And now what we have is we have a Office 365 tenant. Now the key is going to be that now that we are logged in, we've got a tenant, what we can do is we can actually go to the aka.ms slash try copilot studio. And now when we come into this and I put in Dwayne at Copilot Studio Dude dot on Microsoft dot com and hit and hit next and we say we want to sign in. It's going to go through the sign in process and see now we can create an account and you have to put in a business phone number and things of that nature. So I will um, I will just put in uh, a fake one right now. You can do the same and then you can just hit get started and hit get started. And as you can see, now we can start our free trial. Now you can choose what country or region. We can go ahead and hit start free trial. And just like that, now we have our own implementation of Copilot Studio. And not only that, we have it set up where we can do things like SharePoint implementations and things of that nature. So if you're looking to be able to build an end-to-end -end implementation, this is the best way to go about doing it. Now, I understand that a lot of people may not want to put their credit card on file and things of that nature. It's understandable. If you are a organization, you can go sign up for a trial, but the key is you have to have like a business entity um, so that you can create these things. So just be aware. I'm sure that you can probably find a way to do this without having to sign up for a trial of M365, but just be aware that I would highly recommend doing it with a trial of the M365 stuff because of the fact that what you end up with is an end-to-end -end scenario. So all the demos that I build, I build with a tenant that is built upon uh, the M365 components and things of that nature. So if you're really trying to get into the demos, just be aware this is something you're going to want to do. Make sure you take note of the date and the time. And really quick, just to make sure that you guys see how easy it is to be able to go cancel. All you have to do if you're in your Microsoft 365 admin center and you decide you no longer want to have your trial, you simply go to your products, you check the box next to the business premium and you hit cancel subscription. And you can say that you want to go ahead and cancel it at the end of your trial date um, so that that way you don't get charged. A lot of people may want to go ahead and do this so that that way they can uh, cancel it. And you can see here, I can just click next and then I can hit um, let it expire 
and hit save. And you'll see here that it's going to go through and it's actually going to cancel that subscription just as soon as, as this goes on. Now you, you may get a few nag emails here or there, uh, but you have that. The other thing is, is that you don't really have to worry about canceling the uh, Copilot Studio viral trial. Um, that will not bill you in any way. Uh, so don't worry about that particular one. This is all you have to do to make sure that your 30 day trial doesn't keep charging you. Well, I hope this was helpful for, for those that were trying to figure out a way to be able to get st stood up into a new Copilot Studio trial account. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and know that I've got a lot of great content planned to come to you guys. And so you may want to uh, hold off on your trial until you're ready to go through some of that content, but please go out and, and feel free to try Copilot Studio at any time you want.